So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the, like, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. Yes, you know what time it is, woo! Why am I wooing? Well, I'm actually getting comments from my video one month ago. How am I so accurate on the MacBook Pro specs from a month ago? Respect, and yeah, you would have known a month ago these specs if you subscribe to my channel. But anyway, the new MacBook Pro is out and gotta say on the most part, very happy with it. Should I talk about the good or the bad? The good, the bad, the ugly, uh, yeah, it's not all good. You know, Apple, they give us, they give us, and then they take it. And um, let's just have a quick look at it. I will actually give you my thoughts. Yes, it's a 16 inch MacBook Pro. They've fixed the cooling, hopefully. A lot of new stuff, new graphics, up to 64 gigs RAM, and eight terabytes of friggin' storage. <laughs> That's a lot of storage. Colleen Saints, the world's best pro notebook. That means it's definitely got to have an NVIDIA RTX 5000 and does it? No, AMD. All right. Exactly how is it the best pro notebook? But I'll tell you what, it'll come pretty close. If you're talking about content creation stuff, uh, content creation laptops, I'm telling you now, this is going to be like pretty much top of the pile because... You know, if we have a look here, the current MacBook Pro can sustain 50 watts, okay? So we know that, you know, 2.6, 2.8, depending on temperatures and stuff like that, but it will sustain about 50 watts. Now look at this, 12 more watts during intensive workloads. Now it does have a 96 watt power supply. That's probably limited to 96 watts. It could do with 100 or even more than that, but I reckon it's limited to that because that's as much as the Pro XDR, whatever display, that's as much power as it puts out. So that's why it's limited to that. If the current MacBook Pro 15 can sustain 50 watts, this can sustain 62 watts. And that makes it nearly class leading. I'm going to tell you now, 56 watts for the XPS 15. You know, the razor blade will get nowhere near 62 watts. In fact, I have to actually compare it to gaming laptops and only certain gaming laptops because there's no like other content creation laptops that are sustaining like 62 watts. You know, the Aero 15 from memory was about 65 watts. Now that's CPU only. Of course, once you light up the GPU, it's a different story. And I will test that. So hey, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to slam this 16 inch. I'm going to get the i7 and I'll get the i9 just so I can compare both. Now, when it comes to graphics, we've got this Radeon 5000 graphics. Now, we're just saying up to 80%. Well, the 80% is a bit of, you know, fist of fury stroking. And the 80% is when you get the 8 gigabyte model because there's certain stuff like, I think it's MATLAB or something like that, that it's getting that performance increase just because it has that extra 4 gigabytes of memory. And that's the thing here. You know, you cannot get an 8 gigabyte version on the PC. So this is truly custom silicon for the Mac. Now, if you want to know how fast this graphics is, the 5,500, go to Own and Disowned. He basically made a video recently. He said it's about 10% faster than the 1650. Now, that's with AMD CPU and, of course, the 4 gigabyte version. Now, AMD have actually claimed it's more like a 1660. Well, it definitely won't be in a Mac just because, you know, 96 watts isn't that much to share with the CPU and GPU. Maybe if you're just hitting the GPU, yeah, you might be able to get up near a 1660, but it's going to be in between a 1650 and a 1660. So, you know, that is what it is. On a Mac, it will still be good. They'll get the most out of it with metal and stuff like that. So the new cooling is supposed to shift, you know, 27% more air or, you know, bigger heat sink and stuff like that. Well, they're going back to the traditional heat sink from what they had with the Vega 20 and hopefully they've done some work on the VRM. Now, it's not going to be quieter because if it was quieter, Apple would have told you, believe me, they would have been, oh, it's so much quieter and this and that. I wouldn't be surprised if it's louder under full load, but it would definitely be cooler if they're sustaining 12 extra watts and that's going to make a huge difference, 12 extra watts, 62 watts. We're pushing over three gigahertz with eight cores at that point. So that's really good. And eight gigabytes of graphics memory. You know, it's going to be a big upgrade. I said there was actually scope for about 30% performance with the current CPUs. They have the current ninth generation Intel CPUs. Nothing's changed there. But if Apple are getting around 12%, that's pretty good. I mean, 30% was overclocked, of course. So 12% extra performance on the CPU will mean like it's like a new CPU. I doubt there'll be that much difference between the, you know, the ninth and the 10th generation CPUs. You're not going to get 12%. So just calling it. 
will give you 12%. Now, when it comes to the keyboard, fuck me dead. Apple have some stupid names for shit, but Magic Keyboard is taking it to the next level. And I got to tell you, there's nothing magical about it. It's a freaking keyboard. And, you know, it just shows you how much of a sort of shit show this has been that, you know, now having a keyboard that might work and feel good is some sort of big feature to have to crow on about. I think this stroke in the sausage practicing for the Fist of Fury, um, hopefully it lasts more than a few months. Let's find out. Also the mics, right? Better mics. Actually, you can record stuff and it's supposed to be pro level. We'll find out. And the sound. I didn't actually think it would be possible to get better sound than what's on the current MacBook Pro. And these are supposed to be better. Wow. All I can say is wow. And this thing can actually output to two 6K displays. So those new XDR or whatever displays they're going to come out with can display on two of them. Like two. That's pretty awesome bandwidth there. I actually should check if the current 15 can do that as well. That'll be interesting. Um, I've always said many, many times, you know, 16 inch, 17 inch, the bigger the display, the better. It's better for content creation, better for gaming. It's better for everything. Although you got to remember, it was a 15.4 inch and it's gone to 16 inch. And if I have a look at the specs, is it a 16.4 inch or is it just 16 inch? We have 16 inch displays. 15.4 to 16. It's not like going from 15 to 17, obviously, but it's not a 16.4. Getting an extra inch, it is only 16 inch, so 0.6 of an inch bigger. And you can change the refresh rate too, which you usually can't do with a Mac. This is supposed to be for video. Maybe you change it. I don't, I don't know. Why would you want to change it? That's one thing. 64 gigs, yes, it's catching up with the PCs there. That's awesome. But I don't think there's any PCs that are getting eight terabytes. There's none. I mean, you can actually do it if you get one of those, you know, laptops with the two M.2s. You can get two fours. Four terabytes terabyte m.2s are rare i don't think there's any eight terabyte ones and certainly not in the consumer space maybe enterprise so in all honesty i think this is shaping up apart from the disappointments i'm going to talk about in a sec i think this is shaping up as probably one of the best if not the best just because you know when we hold in 62 watts if it all checks out and you get more powerful graphics eight gigabytes of memory so that's the thing, right? The XPS 15 is four gigabytes and this has a more powerful graphics card now. It can maintain more wattage at 62 watts versus 56 on the XPS 15. It can get the same amount of RAM and you can get more storage. The downside is I thought they were going to do something with the display, like give us something HDR. Yeah, it's bigger, but it seems like it's the old display, just the higher resolution, 16 inches. It's got a bigger battery now you know 99 watt hour battery and you know it's only giving you an hour extra all right it's high resolution but the display should get more power efficient over time and no wi-fi 6 oh that is bad that is bad 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 i'm going to show you why in the video like i can edit off my nas with wi-fi 6 you can't do it with wi-fi 5 so that is just yeah that's left a sour taste in my mouth anyway catch you in the next one stay tuned for my videos on it tally ho